What is up, Hodges Outdoors? We're going to do a little intro, outro, all in one. So I got the privilege to go out and fish with, I think is a legend in our neighborhood, Scott Bean. He took me out on his boat, not the Bass Tracker, but his boat, and we hit up some private ponds. So I did not expect this private pond to be as good as it was, and quite honestly, I got less footage than what I probably should have. Um, we went out bass fishing, we did a little bit of crappie jigging, we did all. Um, our first three casts we both had, I caught two largemouth and he caught one largemouth. That was probably around the three pound range and I didn't get it on film, believe it or not. Bass fishing with this GoPro is a little bit harder than what it is with crappie or catfish. Um, long story short, I think we both caught at least 15 bass each. Uh, we took home 10 other crappies that were all over 10 inches. It was a good time. Um, check out Scott Bean. Um, he has his own bat master's page. There's all the scoring in Miami Valley. If you get a buck that's over 130 inches, give him a call. He'll score it for you. It's like 25 bucks to get it scored. Put it in the records books, and you get a plaque that goes along with it. So next time you see him, shout out to Scott Bean. Thank you for taking me out. See you next time. I just got Pretty much just live set, don't you? You yeah. don't work it too much. Depends on the hat. Like right now, we got a lot of waves, so they're putting a lot of up and down action on it. Right. I'll tell you what I found is I used to use them real like a little bit ago, but and they're so light that I couldn't I couldn't impart the bouncing that I wanted to put on it. I needed a, actually I needed a heavier jig. It doesn't make sense, but when I work it along now, it's a heavier jigs have enough weight that gets yanked up and it drops right back down and the other ones are just kind of like yanked up and then they glide backwards you know it's just a different act i got them on the glider ones too so i started throwing about 16 pounds hmm. and it's just i don't know for one it's easier to cast and it's heavier so it's cast it good one another black one Sucker. <laughs> I threw him in that water. <laughs> he ran back 
It's my rod, it's my rod, I'm sorry. And I got your inch. I knew it wasn't a crappie, that's why I said, what am I gonna hold of? Guess we answered our I'm sorry. Look at that. Alright, question is, is it a wall? It's got a white tip. That's a wall. It's a wall. Yeah, it's a wall. Right? I got a good picture of Yeah. I knew it wasn't fighting like a crappie. Yeah, it, I don't think it's a. It's a guy. Walleye or saw guy? I think it's a walleye. That's, That's what I think. The saw guys are blotched, right? No, it's sauger. Sauger is blotched. Are blotched. I don't know. I got a half decent picture of it. It's got a white spot on the bottom. Yeah, I think it's a walleye. Here we thought that guy was full of shit. <laughs> I mean, that would... Oh, that was not a, that was not a cropper. Let me hit that. Don't know how I did not get a hook in it. <laughs> 